It is dangerously tempting, and probably true to an extent, to describe Japanese cat-themed films as the perfect feel-good movies to curl up with your furry feline companion purring by your side. Symbolizing good fortune and protective power, cats have played significant roles in Japanese culture, folklore, art and media, and most importantly, the daily lives of Japanese people. This is why cat-related movies offer a deep and personal look into different aspects of people's daily lives, and sometimes these movies are the best ways to convey social messages in a subtle yet effective way. Whether you're a cat lover or simply an Asian film fan looking to broaden your horizon through an interesting subgenre, the movies in this video are not to be missed. A 17-year-old girl saves the life of a cat who happens to be the prince of the cat kingdom. As a reward, the cat king offers the girl to be married to the cat prince, which is not what she wants. The longer she stays in the cat kingdom, the more cat-like she becomes, losing her human self. With the help of a cat baron from the cat bureau and other feline friends, she must discover herself in order to escape from the cat kingdom and to avoid permanently turning into a cat. No other cat, or human for that matter, can rock a suit, bow tie and a hat like the Baron. The Baron who works in the Cat Bureau in this movie first appeared in this movie's indirect prequel, Whispers of the Heart, and he was so popular that he was given a more major role in this spin-off title. This movie is about a single woman, Sayoko, her rent-a-cat business and the people she comes to know through her business. On the surface, this movie is a quaint, light-hearted comedy, but as you delve deeper, it serves as a social commentary on an important topic, loneliness. Thanks to the genius of director Naoko Ogigami, well known for Kamome Daina and Magane, and her style of Iyashike, or providing emotional hearing, and of course the sheer charm of the adorable and often comedic scenes of human-cat interaction, this movie stays charming and heartwarming even when the topic it deals with is a serious one. This is a series of films in where Kiyotaro, a ronin or masterless samurai, is given the task by a dog-loving gang leader to assassinate a cat. He accepts the offer, but fails to assassinate Tamanojo, the irresistibly adorable white cat, and ends up befriending it instead. Bringing together sword-wielding Japanese samurai warriors, the rivalry between a dog-loving gang and a cat-loving gang, and the companionship between a white fluffy cat and a humorless samurai, and you have Samurai Cat, a true guilty pleasure movie for any cat-loving Asian film fan. A retired and widowed school principal, Kiyochi, is eccentric, cranky, reclusive, and is living on his own after the death of his wife. He hates the cat Mi, who his wife used to adore, and tries to shoo it away every time it comes to visit him, as Mi reminds him of his wife's death. But one day, when Mi suddenly stops coming to his house, he sets on a journey to find it. A journey where he revisits the love and memory of his wife and reconnects with members of his town. A real chicken soup for the soul and a mental vacation. This movie is set on a small rural island in Japan where the main inhabitants are old people and cats. Daikichi is a 70-year-old widower, born, raised and living on this island with his cat Tama. Although he misses his wife and his son is living in Tokyo far away from him, he is content with his surroundings and spends a quiet, gentle life with his childhood friends and the cats on the island. However, through the course of the movie, things begin to change slowly and he starts to learn to live with the fact that things will not stay the same way forever. The director of this movie, Mitsuaki Iwago, has a career of more than 40 years of wildlife photography and filming and has been part of the TV program Mitsuaki Iwago's World Cats Travelogue, in which he films cats from all over the world. His expertise and experience are clearly visible throughout the movie, even the simplest of scenes showing the cats are beautifully framed and add to their subtle personification. Based on a popular autobiographical manga series of the same name by Yumiko Oshima, which was later adapted into a TV series, this story is about a manga artist Asako who falls into an artistic and emotional downward spiral when her cat companion of 15 years, Kava, passes away. 
This is where a new cat, Google, comes into her life and her life starts to change in a positive direction. Make sure to grab your tissue boxes for this one as this movie starring Takeru Sato is an absolute tearjerker and is based on an internationally well-known novel of the same name by Genki Kawamura. After receiving a terminal diagnosis, a young postman makes a deal with the devil to have his life prolonged by one day each time he chooses one thing to be completely removed from this world. He starts with simple things such as phones and clocks, but suddenly hits a dead end when he's forced to decide if removing cats are next. A kind-hearted young man, Satoru, and his sassy yet loyal pet, Nana, set off on a road trip to find a new home for the cat. Although this movie deals with life's major difficulties and might even make you shed a tear or two, it is a poignant, touching story that depicts the strength of the bond between owner and pet. Did you find your favourite Japanese cat-related movie here? What are your favourite movies about cats? Let us know in the comments, leave a like on the video and subscribe for more videos like this in the future.